Let's talk about fighting knives real quick. And what I mean by that is self-defense with a knife against another person. So there are lots of schools of thought in regards to that. And I'll just give a couple of my own opinions regarding it. So just take that with a grain of salt. So if I was to get a knife for the specific purposes of self-defense against another person, there's a couple of things that I look for. And it's a couple simple things. Number one, I want it to be a fixed knife. Granted, there are a lot of folding knives out there that are excellent quality, very well made, very robust in design, and they won't mess up on you. But if I'm going to use a knife for the strict purposes of self-defense against another human, it's going to be a fixed blade. That's my first thing. Second thing is I want the blade to be a minimum of five to five and a half inches. Um, anything over five and a half inches is great, but uh, I can make five inches work. The reason I say that is when you look at the anatomy of the body and when you study different strike points with a blade and how fast uh, it can cause either death or um, incapacitation, you know, losing consciousness or whatnot. Amongst those strike points, one of the deepest ones is about five to five and a half inches, give or take. So that's what I base that off of is, okay, I want a blade that's at least around five inches. I could make... I can make it work with a little bit smaller, but and it, it's one of those things that can be subjective because you have to take into account the person's body type. If I'm going against somebody really, really skinny, it's a little bit less. If I'm going against a real hefty boy, then there's a little bit more as far as uh, penetration distance that's involved. But for me, anything more than five inches minimum is great. Those are the two main things. Now, along with that, I look at quality and the strength. I don't want the knife to fall apart on me because there are some really chintzy made uh, fixed blade knives, and I'll show you one that's right here in the video. So the video right here, I have, and I'll talk more about these in each in separate videos. I have a K-Bar 8-inch, a Cold Steel 7-inch, and then this M-Tech USA 7-inch. So first, let's start with the cheapest. Uh, I got this for $11.00. And it certainly has its issues, but holy crap, that is a very deadly blade. It will penetrate very easily. This reminds me of the old uh, Fairburn fighting blades back in the day. Uh, it was a World War One, World War Two era, and there were blades that were very similar to this. Double-edged. It actually has an edge on both sides. It's not a faux edge or anything like that. Now, granted, this thing, I mean, here, maybe I can show you on here. The blade's not exactly super tight in the grip there, but this is made well enough to puncture flesh. I guarantee it. This does have enough to it that it'll definitely do the job, but it's $11. Uh, certainly not the best, uh, but this just, uh, if anything, this shows a good example of how you or your opponent a potential threat, um, talking to you law enforcement types especially, when you're dealing with an edge weapon such as this, this is an $11 edge weapon, but boy, you certainly want to take this serious. This is deadly stuff right here. This will penetrate deep enough in the average human body in any of the critical points to cause very quick death. So that's an example right there. This isn't that well made either. It's just an $11 knife. It's almost... Uh, it's almost to the point where it's probably just display only, honestly. But it can still be used. This right here, we're getting way up in quality. This is a cold steel Tonto, the Recon. Very nice blade. I like these cold steel blades. Very well made, very thick. This thing is an excellent fighting knife right here. Fixed blade, good uh, rubber texture on the grip. Very nice uh, Tonto design. I like the Tonto blades. Very easy to use, good for slashing, good for uh, stabbing. All that good stuff that goes along with a fighting knife. Um, these I'm kind of partial to. I like the K-Bars. Some people do, some people don't, but I just have a thing for K-Bars. I like the K-Bars, especially this one. This guy right here is an eight inch Tonto. And very well made. Uh, I really, 
like this blade if I was to pick one blade out of these three or even out of other blades to use for self-defense purposes this would be the one good reach eight inches I can get wherever I need to get good quality very strong the handle guard everything is very well made I'm not gonna have to worry about losing friction on the grip or anything like that during stabbing or slashing all that stuff that goes along with it but these are just you know examples and again the biggest thing I look for is okay do I have enough blade to do the job and then at the same time do I have um, along with that is it a, is it a fixed blade and I think that's really important I think with a fixed blade as long as it's a decent fixed blade I mean this one's borderline but again this will still penetrate good um, these two are better examples of good fixed plate designs. I think the fixed plate just lends itself to a little bit more toughness than a folding knife or, or what have you. But again, this is just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm not the expert on blades, and I know there's a lot of good, high price quality uh, blades out there, folding knives, that are just excellent. So there is that. Anyway. I uh, just wanted to share that with you. That's just kind of what I look forward to. I think that uh, using a blade is something that is kind of a lost art. And this is kind of a side subject here. It's kind of a lost art in the sense that there's a lot of BS out there and a lot of flashiness that doesn't necessarily work. It may work, but it may not. Uh, Edged weapons are, it's, it's kind of a deal that it's its simple, it takes a little bit to master, but it's actually, it's kind of simple. It's just like firing a firearm. It's not extremely hard to fire a firearm and do it accurately. Uh, it takes a little bit of work to master it. Same with blades. You can use a blade. Anybody can pick up a blade and stab at something and do a pretty decent job of stabbing very well. But it takes a little bit more training to learn the points of the body to defend against and to attack and, and, and different simple ways that you can go about defending and attacking uh, in regards to edge weapons. So, you know, it's one of those lost arts as far as people looking for the good instruction. Again, there's a lot of just crap instruction out there. There's a lot of this flashy crap that just does not work. And if it does work, it just doesn't work well. Uh, here's one little tip. The body can take a lot of slashing, but it cannot handle stabs too well. So if you're going to be serious about using an edged weapon for self-defense, I would focus on how to parry and defend against another edged weapon and how to stab effectively. Again, that's why I like the long blades and that's why I liked fixed blades. It's because I can slash with this and hack and do a certain amount of damage. But if I stab, I'm going to do a lot more damage very fast, and I'm going to get this deep inside where it matters. So um, that can have a little bit of bearing on what you're going to pick for an edge weapon. And this is no serious in fire. A lot of people kind of go, ooh, edge weapons, you know. They may shy away from the subject, but a lot of people carry them. And you should know about them and research them and study them. So that way, not only you could defend yourself with one if you need be, if you need to, you can also um, you can use one if your firearm isn't available. So you can use one to go on the offense. You can defend yourself against one, I should say, along with going on the offense. Um, and I think that's just really, really important. Knives, if you don't understand them, and in fact, edge weapons in general, if you don't understand them, they're pretty dang scary. And, and people wonder why police officers shoot people with knives. It's well because people with knives are extremely deadly. So um, take that into account. Whatever you do, just make sure to do research on it. Really look at stuff. Look at your own physical capability. Look at backing up edged weapon offense and defense with empty hand techniques because those are really, they go hand in hand just like they do with firearms. So you really want to make sure you have good empty hand techniques to go along with it. And just don't stop learning. Look at the books. I mean, one of the things that I look back into was the old, um, when Fairburn was, was uh, um, developing knife fighting and stuff back in the World War II and whatnot, the British commandos and whatnot, the, the uh, 
trench fighting and, and, and street fighting and stuff with the edge weapons and kind of how things were used. They did a lot of work back there. Uh, so did Applegate, I believe. There was a lot of work done back there in regards to this stuff that still applies today. A lot of research. Uh, people don't realize that there are certain strikes. Like a lot of people don't realize that uh, in the stomach area, if you do a straight stab into the stomach area, five to five and a half inches, you may get a near instantaneous death. And that's kind of one of those funny things that when I didn't realize it and then I learned about it and I was like, holy crap, that just didn't sound right. And then I kind of looked into it and I said, holy crap, I never knew that. It just depends on where you stab them in the stomach area. And it has nothing to do with the actual stomach. It's just there's a lot of other stuff in there that if you cut and sever and, and poke and all that stuff, it can cause near instantaneous death. So that, you know, that's something that's a good point as far as, hey, I got to learn about this stuff. So anyway... Enough yammering out of me. I'm just kind of jabbering on here now. Feel free to put your thoughts in the comment section below. I don't want anybody to, to take this video as me ragging on any any type of knife or edged weapon. They're all very deadly. Another, another type of edged weapon I like are the little karambits. Those things are downright just nasty. And if you know how to use one well, holy crap, they'll tear up a person. So uh, that's another type that I like. But anyway... Put your thoughts in the comment section below, and as always, stay safe and stay sane out there.